Welcome guys, this is Suzuki Live in Cadwell Park 2023. We've got some old bikes, new bikes, old riders still riding. Young old people riders. not riding anymore. <laughs> How are you doing Taylor, you alright? I'm good, yeah. I'm excited to be at Suzuki Live. This is my first time here. So we've got a lot of bikes, a lot of bikes to test. There's some old race bikes that I'm interested to see. So do you want to go take a look? Let's go and check them out, yep. Go. So where we go here, Taylor? Well, I'm glad you asked Sylvan because I've been briefed on this bike. The model number on the side says it's the K15P. It's an 80cc bike and it was actually designed to be ridden on-road and off-road. And the interesting thing is it has two rear sprockets and you can actually change the length of the chain. I think some extra links came under the seat for this bike. So you could change the gear in, go on the bigger sprocket and ride it off-road. I've never seen anything like it before, have you? Me either. And it's an immaculate... I didn't even know they existed. No. I mean, that, looks, that does look mint. Great basket as well for the... Good croissants. basket. And a baguette. <laughs> no good for me, as once I took that chain off, it would then be broken. And I'd never be able to ride it again. So I'd need a mechanic to sit on the back with me if we're going to change... Yeah, well, you could, chain you could put a cushion put there, there and just <laughs> put him there. That'd be fine. I mean, with the size of that sprocket, you could climb, you could climb up uh, anything with Whatever that. you want. Yeah. yeah. And it is in really good condition now. Let's, uh, we've got lots more bikes here. Let's take a look at some of these other yeah. Sylvan. Is this one that you used to race? That's the one I used to do my uh, KOMs in Camel Chase. <laughs> yeah, I believe it is. Lovely, lovely by that. Proper engine, but the condition of this. Wow. You I can't imagine riding yeah. that. And I like the front suspension. Viable geometry. Yes, exactly. It's cool. that, that would have been a first. Yeah. Lovely by that. This bike was actually built by apprentices, interestingly. Although it's a far better job than I would have done, I'll let you ride this one just in case. That's a legend though, that one. It is. Tell me yeah. about this, because you've ridden one of these, I believe. I've ridden one of these uh, in Cadwell, actually. Really? Yeah, it's actually a lovely bike to ride that. The bars are a little bit too close for me. I like, I like big bars, but uh, the engine is really lovely. Great feeling as well with the chassis. It actually handles really well. Uh, because of the carbs, though, you get that connection, you know, that quite aggressive connection. But that was a really sweet bike to ride that. So if you're going to ride one bike this weekend, I would recommend to ride that one. Cool. I'm excited to get out. This is the Suzuki TL1000. And the cool thing about this is it was actually never a motorbike. This just came out of parts out of the Suzuki warehouse. So they've just built it out of brand new parts. And that's why it looks absolutely immaculate. So I don't think we'll be taking this one on track because it's in pristine condition and I wouldn't want to wreck it. It does look really, really brand new. Yeah. It's Suzuki TL puzzle. Nice. Big twin. Yeah. yeah lovely. Now. And then we've got a two stroke. Yeah. This is, this is one very special bike. Does it take you back to memories of two stroke days? Yeah. But mine were not, obviously not as old as this, but yes. And then the smell of it. I mean, yeah. This is, this is special. Yeah. I've got my eye on this. I definitely want to take this out before we go. We actually missed a bike back there. There's another Barry Sheen transatlantic bike. Lots of bikes we need to go ride. There's more to explore. So I think we should go head off now. Yeah, let's go and check them out. Yeah, yeah. see what else we can find. Right, so I've just found this bike and that's a 650 V-Strom, but it looks pretty special. This is Jeff from SR75. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Silva. Can you tell me a bit more about that bike? Because it just looks so cool. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, Suzuki UK commissioned us as SR75 to make our version or our thoughts on the, on the V-Strom to turn it into a, a full off-road RMZ supercross twisted bike sort of thing. So. We upgraded the wheels with a bigger wheel package, upgraded the suspension, lifted everything, handmade bespoke seat, handmade bespoke exhaust pipe from America. And yeah, basically went for it to, to do something pretty special. Yeah, it's almost like a like rally raid. And then you've got a proper racing beast behind there. Now yes. this looks special. This looks like a, an absolute animal. Can you tell me more about this one? Yeah, we're really, really proud of this bike. We, we got invited to the first round of the World Supercross Championship at Villa Park a couple of weeks ago. So we built this, brought in Charles Lefrancois, who's been an arena cross champion for us. And we uh, performed really well on the day and, and just had a great time representing the brand and, and at the very, very top level. All right. Well, Jeff, it was really nice to meet you. Uh, I'm going to go and see Taylor now. Awesome. Have a great you, day. Mate. So the next interesting bike that I've come across is this, sir. The oh, a Suzuki me. Snip. A Suzuki S Snip? Yeah. I've heard it all now. <laughs> yeah, what is it? And where does it come from? 
Well, it was made in 1982 and they only made it for a year. I was looking on eBay for some bits for my race bike and it just popped up and I thought, you know what, I've got to have that. It's just so different, I've got to have it. Pretty little thing, weird. There you go. Cool, I love it. Well, I'm going to carry on on my travels around the paddock, but thank you for showing me this. No problem. Pop Suzuki, back and have a go on it later. The Suzuki snip. Oh, well, I've been nervous about the snip for a bit, but perhaps <laughs> later. See you later. Well, Sylvan, fancy seeing you here. We're at the Suzuki Owners Club and we're joined by Mark. Mark, tell me a little bit about the Suzuki Owners Club. Uh, we've been going for 50 years this year. Um, we're quite an active club. We do rallies, weekends away, uh, foreign tours, touring the UK shows, um, plus there's discounts um, on spares, insurance and various other bits and bobs um, for your bike. Okay. And where do they find out more if they do want to do uh, it? You need, need to go onto the website which is uh, suzukiclub.co.uk. Okay, cool. Thank All right. for that. Well, we're going to check that out. Yeah, yes. we'll carry on. Okay. Enjoy the rest nice of the day. Nice to meet you. Look at this Taylor, this is good. Gary, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Nice to meet you. Yep. So Gary from ACS, yes. can you tell us what ACS stands for? Uh, yeah, so uh, it's air-cooled Suzuki. The bikes that you see here are all air-cooled Suzukis, um, so 70s and 80s mainly. Um, and some bikes like this one, although the bike is an air-cooled bike, it ha actually has a newer engine, it's an oil-cooled engine. Um, so that's the criteria. The Harris is a Harris, but it has an air-cooled engine in. Cool. All right. yeah. Brilliant. We'll crack on. Nice to meet you. And you too. We'll crack on. Yeah. All the too. best. All right. All the best. Thank See you. Ya. See ya. Well, Sylvan, plenty of new bikes for us to try here. A lot that I'm excited to ride because there haven't been any of these yet. Which are you looking forward to riding the most? Well, the new ones, the 8S and the new uh, V-Strom 800 as well. These have got the new engine, that 800 twin. They're supposed to be really torquey and nice to ride. So. I'm going to be definitely trying those. I know how the Ayabusa feel already, and that's my favorite bike. And the GT as well, I've ridden that. So yeah, for me, really looking forward to especially the 8S. Yeah, and there's an off-road sensor as well. We can uh, go do a bit of sliding. Yeah, well, it's been raining a bit, so it's going to be quite slippy. So it makes it more fun, doesn't it? Perfect. Well, that wraps up this afternoon's tour, Sylvan, of the paddock here. Have you enjoyed it? I thoroughly enjoyed it. So many passionate people, so many cool bikes, and that is not the end of today's activities either. No, because tonight we get to enjoy the show in there. There'll be some barbecues, there'll be some drinking. We've got the very unique uh, Steve Parrish yep. and the one and only John Nettles. Yes, he's excited to get in there. And as it happens, I only drink on days that end in a Y. So that wraps this tour up, and we'll see you later on in the bar.